Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome, nice. My goodness, yeah, today it is Friday, right? It is Friday and we have class, my God. So anyway, right? So um, let's see, let's see, my goodness, we are 18 participants. Falta que vengan algunos, pero Okay, let's see, let's start. Okay, please turn on your cameras. Um, uh, let's see. So, no sé si verificaron los mensajes mientras ingresen los que hagan falta. Vamos a mencionar esto. Este, mandaron ahí eh, al grupo de WhatsApp información que como les dije el primer día, eh, Cada cuatro, cuatro sesiones se termina una semana. No sé si verificaron que ahora nos enviaron hasta una imagen diciendo ahí semana uno, semana dos, semana tres y semana cuatro. Ok. Eh, sí. Ok, so creo que todos verificaron ese mensaje. Y bueno. Así es como se estará trabajando prácticamente eh, el día de ayer se terminó la semana 1. Quiere decir que eh, este día estamos iniciando la semana 2. ¿Cuáles son las secciones que, que usted debe de trabajar en teoría? Vamos a ver. Sección 3, eh, Intermed, creo. No recuerdo, pero sí vi que la sección 3 tenemos que sí trabajar. Ok. La sección 3 y el, y el examen intermedio. There you go. Okay. Nice. Ok. Termina. Esto solo okay. por sí. Oh, sí, puedo empezar a trabajar la sección 4 ya. Yeah. yeah, that's not a problem. Ok. Si usted se puede ir adelantando, está excelente. No es que ya para mañana tiene que terminar todo, pero si usted va unas ¿qué? secciones adelante eh, no habría ningún problema o sea no es que va a terminar ya la plataforma mañana pero si usted adelanta un poquito no es que esté mal ok al contrario es bueno que usted vaya como proyectándose a lo que le van a pedir en la siguiente semana la siguiente semana y así de esa forma usted se despreocupa que estén mandando ahí porque ellos revisan el porcentaje de cada uno, ¿ok? Yo ya la, ter yo ya la terminé, no sé si habría algún problema por eso. No, o sea, no hay problema definitivamente. Este... Okay. No sé cómo si usted sabe, pero cuando nos dieron sí. la, la inducción, nos dijeron que puede... Que, que pidan una semana antes que se termine con el trabajo de la plataforma. Ah, ok. Eso fue lo que les dijeron a ustedes en la, en la charla que les dan, ¿verdad? Porque les dan como sí. unas generalidades del programa. Ok, entonces ahí ven a, a la opinión del compañero y es, es así. O sea, si usted termina antes de tiempo, no es que lo van a penalizar, ¿verdad? Eh, el, Usted puede adelantar definitivamente eso, eso eh, es bueno porque usted no está con ese pesar de que mañana van a revisar y yo no he terminado, ¿me entiende? Este, eh, eh, está bien, está bien, ¿ok? Ahora, esta semana que inicia hoy y termina el mier, bueno, después de la vacación, lunes we have class, right? So, no sé si a ustedes les mandaron las fechas, pero mi modo, triste noticia, we don't have the full uh, week right for vacations, ok? Um, no sé, no sé si les, les enviaron a ustedes la, la, um, las fechas o no en el correo, yo creería que sí. 
A mí lo personal no, Ticha. No, pero fíjense que yo estaba haciendo número, ¿verdad? Aquí haciendo la cuenta. So, there are 16 sections, son 16 sesiones. Y oficialmente la vacación es del primero al seis, right? Um, sí, ya. Yeah. I'm sorry, Carlos Adolfo. So sad, but we have class, okay? So next Monday is the 31st. So es un día laboral. Entonces, sí, porque si no tenemos este... Eh, como, le, como le digo, si no tenemos es clase el lunes, solo hacemos 15 sections, ok, y este, pues son 16 sections, ok, y ahí, ahí, a mí me enviaron que finalice el módulo August the 18, ok, so that means that we have full two more weeks, right, so that's why, so I'm assuming that we do have classes on Monday, No sé. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. There you go. But that's good. <laughs> okay, that's good. Porque si no tenemos esa sesión el 31st, nos vamos a una semana más. Entonces, no, no, no. On the 18th. So we need to complete the 16 sections. So, tómelo por el lado amable. Definitivo. It's knowledge. Okay. Only Monday, teacher. Monday, that's coming Monday. Okay. Bueno. Eh, well, so, entonces, les decía, y el grupo nos enviaron cómo se va a estar trabajando. Ok. Eh, entonces, eh, esta semana, usted debe de, de trabajar. Eh, Debe de trabajar la sección 3 en the midterm exam, que es el, el examen de mitad de módulo. Eso es lo que le van a exigir por ley. Pero si usted adelanta, como ya lo mencionamos, it's fine. Ok, it's fine. So, uh, my goodness. Um, let's see. Just give me one moment. Déjeme ver aquí algo. Okay, sorry. So let's start with the attendance, okay? So I need to validate who is here and who's not, okay? So like always, please uh, let me know if you are here, right? Let's see. Um, vamos a ver. Cristina, se le activa el audio, ahí está. So tell us, let's see. Um, Jocelyn, Tatiana, tell us uh, what is a today date? Please. Good evening. The date day is Friday, uh, 78 July 2023. Okay, okay. Thank you, Miss. It is uh, Friday, uh, July the 28th, right? So the 28th in this case is with TH at the end, right? TH. Um, yeah, 2023. Okay, so let's see. Please uh, let me know if you are here, Ana Cristina.
Ana Christy, no? Uh, let's see, then we have Priscilla Janet. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see, Carlos Adolfo, it's there. Claudia Jessen. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Daniela Mercedes. Hi, teacher, I'm here. Thank you, miss. Uh, Manuel Efraín. Emanuel, Emanuel, no ha entrado hoy. Eh, Evelyn Janet. Present. Thank you, Miss. Flor de María. Flor de María, ¿no? Eh, Freddy Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Eh, Glenda Lisette. I'm here. Nice. Ileana Maria. Present teacher. Nice. Genesi Alexandra, it's there. Uh, let's see. Nice. Jefferson Alexander. This Jefferson no vino, verdad? Oh, como no. Se tiene un attendance right here. No. Un Kevin creo que es el que nunca vino. It's okay, connected. so. It's connected Jefferson. Jefferson, let's see in the, in the, Jefferson Alexander is right. So Jefferson, where are you? This señal is here. <laughs> Okay, Jefferson, Don't what worry. happened with you? What happened with your attendance yesterday? Uh, well, to be honest, I forgot, but I'm here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's what I see right here. Okay, no problem, Jefferson. The good thing is that you are here. Nice. Uh, Jorge Mauricio, it's there, right? Presente. Nice. Um, then we have Jose Alberto. Eh, él no, no, no sé quién es. Um, Jocelyn Tatiana. Come here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Kevin Ariel. Este muchacho Kevin no, no. Nunca ha venido. Uh, Luis Miguel is there. I'm um, here. Nice. Rachel, Rachel is there. No he visto Rachel hoy. No. Rachel Esther, Rebecca Paola, Rebecca Paola, no, eh, Ronald Rafael, present teacher, nice Ronald, so we missed you yesterday Ronald Rafael, Roxana Marisol, present teacher, nice, Sandra Noemi, Present teacher. Nice. Sara Verónica. Sara Verónica, no sé qué pasó, la verdad que aquí dice que. When, when you missed a class, um, I don't know if you realize, but the staff members uh, called you, right? They try to get in contact with you. No se sorprendan si algún día usted por algún motivo no se conecta y le llaman para preguntarle por qué, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? So, let's see. Ana Cristina dice que it's here. So, Ana Cristina, ya le cambié porque no tenía asistencia. So, then the rest, uh, you know that we are going to validate at the end. So, but they, they call you, right? So, just for you to be aware. So, if you miss the class, uh, staff participants, uh, staff members from English Corporativo, they will call you and they will say, why? What happened? You know that it's mandatory to be in the classes, right? Eso lo mencionamos allá del principio, right? Como que no hay permiso so aquí no existe, right? So you need to be here no matter what, okay? Yo siempre digo ahí, tal vez le acepto que no venga si usted tiene el acta de defunción, ¿verdad? Y sí que ya no se puede hacer mucho. Si usted tiene ese documento en su poder, 
lo comparte, yo no sé cómo, pero tiene que decir, mire, memory, aquí está el comprobante, mi modo, ¿verdad? Ya no hay más. Ahí I sí ya. <laughs> ahí ya está el, 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 el permiso, ahí sí. Ok, so, but then, um, if you, if you, if you have something else, not permissions, right? So that's not allowed. So it is really important. So ahí este, menciono eso porque ahí me ponen a mí una nota cuando no viene fulanito y la mayoría dice no contesta llamada, okay? No contestan ustedes en inglés corporativo. So let's see. Uh, reading, what is a name? Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they? like okay so this is an interesting reading i remember last like two months ago i was with this the same course the same level and i remember what is this reading about and i really like it okay so um when we have the word right here let's see no it doesn't it says right here about this can so uh look at the names in the article so what is the article do you know the meaning of the word article? No? Yep. It's a paragraph. It is, okay. It's a similar word to a paragraph, okay? Reading, article, okay? So do you know any people uh, with these names? Remember that this reading, it's about US, right? So the book, the material and everything, it's about U.S. culture, right? Aquí no va a salir Chepito ni Marillita, right? The names that we will see right here are Americans, right? American names, okay? U.S., U.S., okay? U.S. names. Uh, let's see. Uh, vamos a ver, vamos a buscar un, un lector que nos lea así, pero calidad, calidad. Carlos Adolfo, okay? So, let's see. Um, let me see. Well, so read the first uh, two paragraphs, right? These two lines and these three other lines, please. Be careful with the punctuation, intonation, okay? So please, go ahead. Okay, trataré mis. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> okay, um, Your name is very important. When, do, when you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first it is an important part of your identify right now the two most popular names for babies in the united states are jacob for the boy for boys and emily for girls why are these names popular and why are some names popular popular and um, popular right okay um, I'm popular. Okay. I'm mm. popular. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Carlos Adolfo. Very nice. Thank Let's you. see. We will see uh, one more. Okay. Le vamos a dar ahora una lady, una niña. Vamos a ver. Um, Claudia Yesenia, you look like ready for the reading. Please, one more time. Read the first uh, two paragraphs, right? The first two paragraph two lines and this almost three lines uh, go ahead Claudia Yesenia please okay your name is very important when you think of yourself you probably think of your name first it is an important part of your identity right now the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Okay, okay, very nice, okay. Uh, perfect, okay. Uh, let's see, we are going to see some uh, couple of words that we have right here, okay. So um, it says your name is very important, okay. No me digan. Eh, le ponen la entonación like in Spanish, right? Importante. 
but this is English, right? It's very important. Uh, when you think of yourself, okay, yourself, the letter F, it's at the end, okay? Yourself? No, okay? We need to pronounce that sounds of the F, right? Yourself, okay? You probably, probably think. ¿Qué dijimos de la TH? Did you remember the TH words? Usted me dice think, así es, smiling, think, no, okay? This is a TH, think, think, think. okay? Think, um, of uh, your name first, okay? First, ahí hay una T at the end, first, okay, first. It is an important part of your Y esta sí que la vamos a recalcar un montón, esta palabra. I don't know why, no sé por qué, este, nos cuesta como, como pronunciar all the words that start with the letter I, okay? I don't know why, but we have that inconvenience, right? So all the words that start with the letter I, we tend to read it like in Spanish, right? Identity. Okay, but this is not a Spanish, okay? This is English. So let's see, how do you pronounce the letter, this letter in English? This vowel, como la pronuncia la, la vocal esa, como la pronuncia en inglés? Ay. Ay, como que le duele algo, right? Ay, me duele aquí, right? Ay, mi corazón, right? So, ay, so, acuérdese de eso. Porque siempre, I don't know why, we always read from this type of words that start with the letter I. Porque yo tengo el español aquí, yo digo identity, but that's not right. We need to say ad identity, ¿ok? Acuérdese de la pronunciación de la I. Siempre que vea una letter that start with the letter I, acuérdese que la I va a sonar, right? No I. I, okay, a uh, part of your identity, okay? Nice, let's see, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Letter S at the end, okay? No pronunciamos las S. I don't know why, but we need to pronounce the letter S when we have a, an, a nest at the end of the word. Why are these names popular, okay? Popular, popular, popular. And why are some names unpopular, okay? So let's continue, okay? Let's see. Now, uh, Freddy Alberto, please help us with the next paragraph, right? So go ahead. Okay. Uh, names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book, uh, characters, or athletics. No, uh, athletics. Popular names suggest very positive things. No, no, things. And popular names suggest negative things. Uh, so, Pricing life, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Nice, okay. thank you, Mr. Freddy. Let's see now, uh, lady, please, um, let's see, Daniela. Please, Daniela Mercedes, the same paragraph, please, go ahead. Okay. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV, or book characters, or athletics. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things, surprisingly because generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. 
Okay, very nice. Perfect. That's good, Daniela. Nice. So let's see. Names can become popular, right? La misma palabra que tenemos en el párrafo anterior. Popular. Because of famous actors. Uh, TV or book characters, okay? Characters. Characters. Or at least, okay? So this is no, it's no one, es plural, varios atletas, okay? So at least, popular names suggest very positive themes. Ahí sí, ambos le atinaron. Estamos captando la idea, right? De los TH, okay? Unpopular names suggest negative themes. Surprisingly, Okay, surprisingly, yo lo exagero el li al final para que usted lo escuche, right? So surprisingly, uh, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions. Es aquí, right here, opinions about names from a recent Zerbi. What is a Zerbi? Do you know the word Serbi? Yes, teachers. Entrevistas. Okay. No, encuestas, encuestas. Encuesta. There you go. Okay. This is based on a recent Serbi in the US, right? So, and this is also in Spanish, right? So, this is uh, based on the US, but we know that also here in El Salvador, right? People name the new babies uh, like famous people right can be singers in this nowadays right so that's those are the names that the new babies receive as soon as they get born right so numbers i'm sorry names that are for uh singers famous people and so on and so on okay so uh let's continue okay so let me um, my goodness, let me raise this because if not, it will be Mark. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this one's are the names, but it's not really, really, really important because those are now our names, right? Look at the boys' names. Gert's names. So this is US. So what is really important for me is practice the reading, right? So remember uh, the punctuation is important, right? So all the people that was reading was able to pronounce it nice, okay? Follow the punctuation, periods, comma, exclamations or interrogative uh, marks. So, uh, Luis Miguel, go ahead with the last uh, paragraph, please. Uh, first, I have a question. Oh, okay, so I thought that you raised your hand because you want to read, okay? But go ahead with your question. Uh, what is the pronunciation for the word uh, next to Betty and old? Uh, right here, Betty, old fashioned. Okay, old fashioned and average. So what is average right here talking about the names? So remember that the idea on this uh, little chart right here, it's that the meaning, right? What is the meaning of that name? So in this case, Barry, it's an old fashioned and also it's a uh, average. Old fashioned, the final sound is with T. Yeah, with T. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the, the meaning, right, for that name. My goodness. Yeah. People call me Betty in, in my case because my second name is Beatriz. And all the Beatrices, they say Betty. Imagine, what is the meaning of fashion? <laughs> but anyway, right. So, uh -huh, no problem. So now, Luis Miguel, you can go ahead and start reading, please. Okay, the last part. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. So, 
Why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can be changed over time. A name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's good news for, uh, for all the George and Betty's out there. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Luis Miguel. Let's see now a lady, um, Sandra Noemi. Okay, the same paragraph, please, Sandra. Uh, okay. So why do parents give their children popular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member, of course. Opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the on the your your heads and very out here. Okay, nice. Thank you, Miss uh, Noemi. So it says, why do parents give their children unpopular names? Okay. So I don't know why in English we have some difficulties to pronounce like long words. I don't know if you realize that when we have like a long uh, work, we don't really know sometimes how to pronounce it, right? But that is because we don't really practice or we are not like fluently enough, right? For the pronunciation. But unpopular, we already mentioned the word names. Uh, the biggest reason it's tradition many people people's no existed right people's no existed this is this is a word that is already plural right so people it's plural without s are named after a family member of course of course opinions like you see opinions can change over time a uh, name that it's unpopular now might, okay, might become popular in the future, okay? Future, future um, can be, both are correct, okay? One can be uh, British and the other one American, right? Future, future, okay? Um, that's, uh, that's good news. For all the Georges, okay, eso serían los Jorge, verdad, en nosotros. But George, a los, allá les dicen George, okay, aunque sea mejor que para nosotros, right? So all the Georges and Betty's out there. So did you get the idea for the reading, right? So we will see the 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 um the questions that we have but we are good okay it's it's nice so do we have any new work or something that you don't get the idea no we're good okay let's see um there are some but let's see so let's let's talk about the names that we have in el salvador what names are popular in your country? Let's see, um, Jorge Mauricio. What names are popular in our country in this case? Carlos. Carlos can be, what else? That, that is for boys. What about for a girl? Um, Gabriela. Gabriela. Okay. Uh, in, a, in a negative way, can be Kimberly. <laughs> why, me, Luis? Why Kimberly? <laughs> My goodness, that's a nice name. <laughs> no, but it, it's supposed to Kimberly is the girl from by the Brian. Oh, Brian. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So I don't know. Did you remember like like a couple of years ago, all kids were uh -huh. Kevin, Brian, Kimberly. So 
That was, there was a time, right? Espero que nadie se llame aquí así, o sea, o sus hijos, no sé. Because that was really, really, really famous, right? El Brian, el Kevin, right? La Kimberly. <laughs> so there were so famous in, during the, a couple of years ago, right? Uh, but nowadays, nowadays, which ones are the names that new babies are receiving? Now we have English names. For example, uh -huh, Jocuna, Luis. Jocuna, uh, is uh, Jared. I know a lot of babies that names are Jared. Uh -huh, you're right. Also, for boys, it's like Liam, Liam, yeah. or like yeah. that. Jaco, because nowadays, if you, I'm a teacher, right? I work as a teacher in a public school during the date. So we have little kids. So, and you have, and you see in the classroom, we have Leans, we have Jacos, we have uh, names in English, right? So the, that's the, the idea that they are in, in English, right? But um, what about for girls? Which ones are like, famous names nowadays in El Salvador. No? Stephanie. 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 Which one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Stephanie. Uh, Catherine. It's really famous, right? Catherine, Stephanie. Sophia. Sophie, now because of the princess, right? We have many Sophias. Valentina. We have many Valentinas nowadays. Okay. So nice. This is a new generations, right? Antes a uno de milagro le ponían chepeva. Pero bueno, ni modo, right? So that, that, that was the way. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And we have, how do you spell? My goodness, how do you spell? Uh, and spend, I'm sorry. My goodness, I'm sorry, I'm blind. How do you spend your day? Let's see, vamos a ver. A quien no le hemos preguntado este día, glorioso de viernes. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina, how do you spend your day? Uh-huh. Oh, was um, very fine. Very okay. fine day. Okay. okay, but spend, do you know the meaning of that bird? That is a bear, right? Spend. Did you get um, the idea? Uh -huh. um, uh, very, very thick. In, in all day. So very busy, probably that you were or you have busy very dates. Busy. Very okay. Busy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Let's see, um, Juan Jose. What about you? How do you spend your day? I working in my business here in my house. Okay, so basically you are working, right, the whole day and that's how you spend your day. Okay, so this is the name of the section, right? So we have a snapshot right here that is about the six words. Imagine the six words jobs in the United States. Remember, I always say that this is based on the U.S. culture, right? It's not El Salvador, it's not Central America, it is United States, okay? So this uh, works, uh, jobs are based on salary, stressed, numbers of hours, working conditions, and security, okay? So what we have right here is like a compara comparative, right? We have comparatives and superlatives, right? So this is what we have in this uh, 
part right here that says bad, worse, and the, the worst, okay? But we will see this part later on, okay? So let's see. Um, vamos a ver. Um, bien, for people that is with camera, creo que a todos ya le pregunté algo, pero los que no tienen cámara, no, pero no sé. Eh, Jocelyn Tatiana, I already, eh, you already participated, but this is the second round, okay? So please uh, help us reading the, the, the jobs that we have right here that people in the U.S. says that they are the worst. Go ahead. Okay. The first uh, picture is viral fish hermine. The second is taxi driver. The three is a combat, combat, the construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Lumberjack. Okay, okay, uh, Jocelyn, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Um, I don't know, right? So probably we will be agree about this uh, information or probably not, right? It's not El Salvador reality. So this is in the US. So imagine one of the worst jobs in the US is be a fisherman. So probably because of security, right? So the you need to analyze why the, the, the article says that this job it's the worst okay so did you get the idea for worse right the word the the meaning of that is the work okay so it comes from bad words and the worst okay that means that this is the superlative right so el peor va el peor así okay this is the pure right so lo 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 lo, lo más eh, malo para trabajar, right? So based on, on these details, but let's see. Luis Miguel, why do you think that be a fisherman in the US is a negative or, or is considered the worst a job over there? Why do you think that? Uh, for me, one of the reasons can be a fisherman uh, can earn a lot of money. Uh, the salary can be slow and a long time to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Probably it's because of salary. I don't know how much can be, but, but probably it's opinion, very low. I, I would like to be a cowboy. Okay, yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> or a dancer, imagine. If you really like dance and you have the ability, Imagine you are doing something and you receive money because of that. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Um, Genesia Alexandra, taxi driver. Why do you think that be a taxi driver can be one of the worst jobs in the United States? I guess it could be because security and stress because they might be on traffic all the time and salary i think uh, if being a taxi driver here in el salvador it's uh, the salary is not the best i guess it could be the same thing in united states Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. That's that can be right a possibility because imagine uh be a taxi driver here in El Salvador <gasps> with the traffic that we have every single day, every single uh time. <gasps> My God, now that would be really stressful, right? So but they have a song. By Ricardo have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. That's a really famous and very nice sound, right? But 
but that is just the name, Luis Miguel. During the day, they are really stressed. <laughs> they are really stressed, okay? But the, 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 the good thing is start at 10, right? Based on the, based on the sun at 10 o'clock, start the story. <laughs> okay, nice. Aha, uh -huh. let's see, Freddy, Freddy Alberto, what about be a cowboy? So that is, imagine that is a, job in the US that is it's not right in El Salvador probably I don't know so be a cowboy why do you think that it's one of the worst jobs Freddy um I think uh, cowboy is a uh, uh, hard um in or in in Houston maybe <laughs> Houston, Texas. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, the, it can be there. But why do you think that it's so negative? Um, uh, about uh, the animals, um, maybe dangerous. Mm -hmm. Can be, right? Can be definitely because of security, right? Imagine mm -hmm. if you are working with those um, animals, so it's not easy, right? And probably can be the uh, working conditions, okay? Because they don't have an office, so probably, right? Nice. The next one, construction worker. Let's see, Carlos Adolfo, construction worker. Why? Why it's one of the words? Okay, uh, you think can be um, it's dangerous because work with a big machine. Um, maybe working condition. Um, also um, number of hours to work. And Together, this case uh, probably produce produce the stress to the people work in construction. I think can be okay. Thank you, Carlos Adolfo. Definitely, that can be right. Uh, working hours, okay. These people that was uh, under constructions environment they work many 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 hours a day okay they get good salary right so in consideration with uh, other type of jobs because they receive a lot of money but the time that these people it's working during the day it's incredible the working conditions are not like the best right so sometimes they work under the sun sometimes they work on under the rain so and they sometimes they work in um dangerous areas right so that is really difficult for people be working on that on on those uh scenarios right so let's see uh the next one it's the answer uh let's see um claudia jesenia what do you think about be a dancer maybe it's could be um a nice job but it at the same time it could be dangerous because people is all uh yes people is always um, moving and they can have um um for example broke a leg and twist an ankle or and stuff like that Okay, yeah, definitely, uh, Claudia Jesenian, right? It's not easy. I will say that uh, stress probably, right? Yeah, you are dancing and that is uh, um, stressful. 
But remember, be a dancer as a job. It's be, you need to be very um, like disciplinated, right? So you need to follow routines, you need to follow rules, you need to be very careful with your food, with the, your body and everything, right? So you have to take care of everything. So that's not easy. Okay, and probably salary, right? So probably salary. I don't know how much they can earn, but I will think that it's not like that much, right? Probably, I don't know. So in the last one, let's see, Daniela Mercedes, what do you think about the last one? Um, I don't know, maybe because can be tired or dangerous. Imagine if a, a tree, fell on you you are dead <laughs> mm -hmm. so okay maybe so that. can be definitely right so do we have this in el salvador do you know the meaning of this work in palabras nuestras so what would be uh-huh ¿Quién sabe qué, qué es esta profesión o qué es este trabajo? Leñador. Leñador. Ok, leñador, right? So, el de la caperucita roja, probably, right? So, ajá. Uh -huh. We don't have this as a job in El Salvador, right? So, we do have people collecting um, themes, ok? But no really as a job, right? No, nadie creo yo. Al menos que le, usted... Le paga un jardinero, probably, right? Para que le corte un árbol and like that. But we don't really have that as a, as a really job, okay? Well, la cachada, tal vez que usted se haga, right? So uh, doing that activity, right? But in, in the US, it says that is one of the worst. So security, working conditions can be salary, right? So uh, let's see. We are going to continue with the um questions and we already talked about this okay so um let's see we have right here the uh work places okay so we have different uh occupations or activities and we have the places right so for example uh it says that a sales person it's a person who sells clothes clothes and uh, they can work in a department store, okay? So look at the letter number one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we have different occupations right here. For example, number one, what do you think that it is? Number one, based on the picture, right? Sales. Uh, Okay, yeah, right, can be a sales woman, say a sales lady, okay? So based on this, so if this one is a sales person, is the number one. So normally they sell, they sell uh, clothes or any other product, right? And they work in a store or in a, like supermarket can be, right? So what about the number two? Let's see. Um, Jorge Mauricio, what do you think that it is the num the letter number two right here in the the auctions that we have? Uh, N A uh, chef. Mm -hmm. And B cooks food. and see in a restaurant. Okay, perfect. So a chef, it's a person who cooks food, right? Different dishes. And they normally work in a restaurant, right? So it can be in a, in a little store or a mall, but normally it's, we are associated with a restaurant. Uh, let's see the next one, number, number three. Uh, Sandra Noemi. Okay, little A is a flight attendant. 
um, B is a um, care of the cares of the per parents, and little C is a uh, for an airplane. For an airplane. Okay, yeah. Letter number three. It's a fly attendant. Okay, you know, fly attendant. Uh, that will be servers, passengers, okay? So the main activity for these people is, you know, service passengers, and they can work in a airline, right? For an airline, okay? In the airport, right? So uh, we are going to stop for now because of the time, okay? We are going to continue with this next Monday, please. Uh, be aware about your messages on the WhatsApp. I'm assuming that, yeah, we do have classes, okay? But I was like asking to the staff people that, but they didn't answer, okay? In order for me to make sure, but I'm assuming that, yes, we do have classes because if not, we are going to have to uh, recover one class, right? So, Tendríamos que tener clase en this coming, okay, this coming um, Monday, okay, pero estén pendientes del WhatsApp en caso que nos fuesen a decir eh, que no, pero lo dudo, okay, usted proyectese, mentalícese que sí, que sí, we have class, Perfect. okay, so um, before to let you go, I need to validate the attendance one more time, right? Remember, I always mention people that is without the attendance, okay? So, Emanuel Efraín, no vino Emanuel ahora, ¿verdad? Él siempre está, Emanuel, no. Eh, Flor de María, me pareció ver que estaba conectada. Flor de María. Conectada. ¿Verdad que sí? Si yo estoy pendiente de quién... Entra y aquí está, pero no tiene audio, pero bueno. So, let's see, José Alberto. José Alberto, no, no está conectado ningún José Alberto. Y let's see, Kevin Ariel, no. Rachel Esther. Rachel Esther Lobos de Beltrán, ¿no? Rebeca Paola. Present, Miss. Ok, Rebeca Paola. Eh, Sara Verónica, que no. No, no se ha conectado Sara Verónica. Ok, so, uh, time is over. Please uh, work in the platform in case if you haven't finished. Ok, and uh, see you on Monday, probably, right here. I'm almost 99% sure that we will have class, okay? So um, enjoy your weekend, okay? So do something different during the weekend, something, you know, special to relax and to have fun. And let's get together next uh, Monday, the same time, the same link, the same everything right so thank you so much for your time and i see you next monday okay so good night bye bye take care good night bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. take care enjoy your weekend bye bye have a nice weekend